Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Revita. We are jumping in again and it has been a hot minute since I've played this game. I've had a backlog of recordings for a little while and unfortunately I wasn't able to record on Fridays. I apologize that I missed that episode for you guys that are in enjoying the series a lot. We'll buy a new helmet here and we're just going to jump in and see if we can get another run going. So let's uh, unfortunately I'm, I am going to go with the charge gun. I'm not a big fan of the charge gun I'll admit but I'm just going to try it anyways and we'll see what unlocks we've got going on and try and gain another um gain another shard let's see what we can do so let's just grab two things here we've got 86 we want to we grab some stuff that's kind of cheap let's take the lapis necklace and let's grab the ice cream Ooh, the explosive grenade sounds more interesting <laughs> okay cool um hmm yeah okay let's let's just take this as it is i'll see if there's any upgrades we can get over in the other area first and we will just uh We'll uh, see what we can get. See if we can get any upgrades. Oop, there's a, one of these here that we can maybe get. Um, Chaos Ticket, Custom Shards, the Ticket Machine. The Talisman Pickup, definitely want that. They seem really, really useful. And let's get another flower here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The Broken Nail. Okay, let's go. Let's start up our run on, I think it's Shard 8 we're on right now. Yeah, Shard 8. So a little bit of a harder one. Um, we'll go with a key. Max HP up is kind of interesting. Shooting enemies will reduce the dash cooldown and loot plus 10%. What? Okay. Um, yeah, do you know what? Why not? Why not? Seems like a decent idea. Let's just start a run off and see how we go here. See how we go. Like I said, we are using charge gun, so... Uh, we'll go with slowly loose soul. The soul drain's annoying, but not terrible. Ugh. Ah, so we've got items that... Okay, it doesn't matter. I was going to say we've got items that work really well together here. Uh, increase your dash speed. Um, shooting enemies will reduce your dash cooldown. And drop a grenade when dashing. But it does hurt us for some reason. I, I'm a little surprised by that. I've already done a damage to myself. Because I didn't think... I didn't think it would hurt us. But oh, we might die really early here. As I said, it's been a little while since I played, so... I apologize if I uh, absolutely screw the pooch here, but it might happen. Oh, my God. Charge gun's so bad. Why is it so bad? I am definitely going to kill myself with one of these grenades. You know that, don't you? Please be prepared for that, everyone, because that is going to happen relatively shortly. Okay, yeah. Probably not going to find any secret rooms here. I I'm playing incredibly passively right now to make sure I don't die. I will see how that goes. Don't kill me. Okay, that went that went somehow okay. Oh lord. Is that a swiftness? Longevity, nah. That's just gonna increase our rooms for the next floor, I think. I'm okay with that, thanks. Yeah, so that's uh we, we can't grab that to start. That's that's kinda bad. <laughs> Honestly, things ain't going so hot for us right now. And the fact that I'm using a gun that I'm really not comfortable using also makes things a whole lot harder for us. We can grab this chest, and I feel like we should, even though it's probably another bad idea, but let's give it a go. We get ourselves the candle, which is going to remove our curse at least, which is nice. And I think it blocks the next two curses we gain too. Um, so that that is really nice for us, but I don't know how long that's going to end up being useful. I mean, the shot speed's pretty nice as well. Oh, really? Dead. <laughs> I dashed away because of the grenade and immediately went straight back into it. Okay, well, that's um, that's been pretty pathetic. Uh, let's get rid of the charge gun because that gun is terrible. Uh, we're just going to go with the base launcher here and try that out instead. God damn, I, I do despise, despise the charge gun. I It's so weird, though. It's like... Uh, corrupted HP, let's go with higher dash cooldowns. It's so weird as well, because it's like, this game is so entangled in the fact that you should be moving and dashing a lot. And it's like, here's something that's just going to straight up stop you moving as much. But I did have a really good time with the rocket launcher last time, so let's give this a go. We get Shiner Direct Generosity as well, which is going to give us a level, a, a level item. Damage with a lower accuracy, I think that's going to be really good for us actually. I'm quite happy with that. The lowered accuracy is a little bit problematic with a rocket launcher, but 
Not so much so that it's going to be a death, I don't think. Okay, more enemies here than I thought there were. Let's... Okay, we did find a secret room here. Nice. Okay, starting to get back into it a little bit here. Starting to get back into it. Let's not fret too much. Ooh. You know I like to go hard on these bad boys. Okay, that's that's enough for me. That that was good. I want I want at least some HP here for actually getting my um my chest and stuff, but otherwise I'm really happy with that. But yeah, the rocket launcher, the last the, the last time the only thing that really went wrong with a rocket launcher is I was a bit silly and um bullets are pulsating increased range. Get some soul back when buying. Let's go with that. Um I was a bit silly and took an item that ended up pretty much ruining my run. Uh, so, I actually haven't, I don't think I've had a victory with the rocket launcher yet. So, it's kind of like, would you? We are due one. Okay, no secret room. It's annoying that I never know when it's going to be a two-phase room, but I guess that's kind of part of the uh, challenge here. Hopefully, we can get some more tickets here and build those up, because um, unfortunately, we have uh, completely run out of tickets now. I think that was because I did some runs off camera. I can't remember, actually. Like I said, it's been a little whilst I played. I really like this game, but I've been, like, just busy with a lot of other games on, on the channel recently. Like, a lot. Didn't check that for secret rooms. A bit silly. We'll try and go to the high place if we can, but I'm not seeing it's a guarantee. I would like to go to B floor, though, if it's possible. Oh, yeah. The rocket launcher just in situations like this. I didn't see those spikes at all. Really bad damage on my behalf there. It's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna treat it as just the the first day back jitters. And I'm sure you'll all agree with me. Frog legs really good here because we get luck up, but the speed is also really nice. Jump height I'm not so bothered about, but everything else there. Okay, so here's our first boss. Damn it, I tried to find the secret room there and ended up getting hit for it. I, I knew I was going to kill him on the next few hits, so I wanted to be careful. Ah, oh, nice, we got the flashlight anyways, that helps. So the flashlight just lets us find secret rooms after the rooms are over. Which I quite like the sound of. That was a really dumb hit by me there. I keep trying to go for the soul that I shouldn't be trying to go for. What? Got you. I don't even need the soul anyways. I'm full. What am I doing? Okay. First boss. We're not great on HP here, but a flawless would go a long way. I'm kind of intrigued in upgrading our frogs like here anyways i mean to be honest the amount of damage we start with with the rocket launcher should make denial not too bad i'm not saying he'll be easy i'm not saying i'll get the flawless especially having not fought him in a little while but i should be able to uh kill him reasonably fast here that was a really dumb dodge by me then i should have just uh dashed and i didn't i need to use the dashes a little bit more i'm not really utilizing them much. But the fact that we're hitting him like during his transition phases here is really nice. Like while he's while he's sort of hovering up in the air, we can still hit him a bit. That was a really dumb little dodge there as well. And here we go. We've almost got him. In fact, I think like two more movements and we'll, we'll have him here. In fact, I think we've got him right now. There you go. Easy. He has taken a care of. And we did get a shield and we got the Memento. Definitely up for doing some item upgrades here. We unfortunately didn't find our secret room, so we're not going to the hive. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Just keep on moving on. And I don't think we have any items we want to get rid of here. But I do have some, a few items I'd like to upgrade. I think loyalty card for one is pretty good. And frog leg for two is pretty good too. Lazy Eye is actually pretty good as well. We'll take Lazy Eye. Okay. Pretty happy with that. Let's carry on. Yeah, I think the, the shop purchase one, getting so much soul back is pretty important. Also, yeah, I haven't been to this floor in a while.
Okay. Oh, yeah, I haven't used this floor in a while. I normally go to the uh, the high floor whenever I can, so ooh, bad hit. My dash cooldown being a bit longer is uh, throwing me off a little bit there. Still no secret room there. We need a little bit more damage. There's some smaller enemies that we should be one-shotting, but I feel like we're not. Good, good. Trying to swiftness here. Oh, this is growth. I don't know what trying to growth does. Oh, that's just damage. Nice. I can get behind damage. I think this tactic of, like, jumping and firing is, is working really well. Just keep on with that. Getting a lot of soul pair rooms here as well. Still doing a bad job of finding my secret rooms, though. Even, even on my first, like, game back in a while, I'm still wanting to play it as risky as I can. Um, extra accuracy. Bullets come in contact. Eh, neither of those are really floating my goat right now, so let's say no. Okay, these things I remember being terrible. The, the accuracy is actually really messing me up. I really should have gone for that accuracy upgrade. It's caused me to miss things I really shouldn't. Also, the classic, the El Clasico Revita situation of having no keys ever. I do think this game is really, really mean with the amount of keys it gives you. It never gives you enough. Like, I'm not saying you should get all the keys you need, but it's like, don't have one for my chest, don't have one for my shop, don't have one for my celestial gun. It's like, just, I never have enough and I'm getting hit again a lot. It's just brutal how, like, few keys they give you and how, how many keys you need. And it's like, some runs you get a ton. Some runs you get absolutely tons of keys. And other runs you just get none, ever. I've also been hit way too much this room. Already. But let's not get hit again. How are you not dead yet? Yeah, so three rooms this floor that are already been missed. Okay, we do get a challenge room, which could give us a key or an item, so that's pretty nice. Oh, I dived right into that guy. I am sloppy right now. I think last episode was the one where I died a bunch, so it's kind of fair play that I'm not doing great. But at least I haven't been hurting myself with my explosions. Oh, there's a key. Just a bit too late game, but you know, it's the thought that counts, I guess. The thought that counts. Don't get hit challenge is a little bit spicy. There you go, we got it there. Two damage ups. Like I said, we did need more damage anyway, so that's kind of nice. Okay, there's our secret room. Okay. Go in here real quick and hope for a key. Another machine. That could give us a key. Okay. Always leave it on one heart. I'm going to trade away most of the HP I have anyway, so I don't mind. Oh, we're finally one-shotting these fellas, which is kind of what I was hoping for. So that's really, really nice. I like that. I like that a lot. One moment, people. One moment. I apologize that the screen's gone dark. Right. Let's keep her going. Oh, I can't. I couldn't enter that door for a second there. One second. Right, let's continue onwards. We do get our curse chest here. That's rather nice. Um, let's go with the smaller copy. It's annoying. Increase our speed. We now have a lot of speed. 40% speed is kind of crazy. And we've got a lot of damage here, so this boss shouldn't be too bad. I, I don't know if we'll get the flawless, honestly. It's been so long since I fought this guy, even though he's not a particularly hard fight. It's been so long since I fought him, but... I don't know. Also, the explosives from the rocket launcher kind of ruin a few of the tactics I generally employ when I fight this guy, so I'll see how that ends up going. Like, I, know, I like to stand under him there and fire from there, but it doesn't really work. Oh, that was so stupid. I got really confused at where he was moving then. 
It's fine, it's fine. Right, keep it going with this. Oh, that still hit me. I dived at the wrong... I haven't even got the timing down. This is what I mean. I need to play the game a little more and get used to it again. Because I am really not doing well. I mean, the accuracy of this rocket launcher really isn't helping. Oh, God. I might die. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to die on this guy, but it's it's certainly looking plausible here. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. Didn't do great on him, but at least we didn't die. At least we didn't die. That would have been terrible. We got a shield and a key. Okay, that's that's good for the next floor at least. I will heal up here. I'll probably spend some more maximum HP against my better judgment here because, I don't know, getting even more speed just sounds fun. Like getting to the point where we just have ridiculous speed sounds kind of fun. Uh, so that can go up to 40% there for a heart. Yeah, let's, let's, let's double up on the speed. Why not? And then we'll go one on the damage as well. Yeah, our accuracy has gotten to the point where it's terrible now, but I'm like, I'm just committed to it. Like, minus 30% is like terrible. Our rockets basically never go where we want them to in any way, shape, or form. But our damage is crazy good, so who cares? Good, good. Oh, the movement speed is pretty incredible. Oh, big soul, big soul. That's a full soul heal. We're finally getting some maximum HP. I never thought it to be possible. We've actually got some keys we can use this time. But oh, I, do, I do see our secret room there. Nice. Oh, what the hell hit me then? Oh, God. Have I actually hit that yet? I have now. Oh, my God. The accuracy. I hit myself with a rocket launcher. I think I'm going to die. The time away from this game has not treated me kindly. I can't hit anything, the accuracy is so I really didn't think accuracy would be that big of an issue with a rocket launcher, but it really is. Like, I can't hit enemies at all. I really can't. It's just that mirror room. Annoying, but it is what it is. Okay, we at least heal up there, but again, we can't do anything with that room. Oh, I don't know if you saw what happened there, but I just slid straight into those spikes. Things ain't looking good, people. Things ain't looking good. We've got some Metro tickets, at least for the next run. Oh, God. I just can't actually hit anything. I, I can't aim. <laughs> I can't aim. My goodness. Um. Okay. <laughs> We didn't get to go into that run with any items anyway, so let's run that back. And um, we got this gun here, the Orbit gun. I guess this could end up being a redemption. We'll see. So let's just buy some really low-cost, simple stuff. There you go. Simple, simple. Let's go see what uh, what are these we got. Okay, I think all of these are worth it. In fact, the speed upgrade maybe isn't. The speed upgrade is, like, not that worthwhile. Enemies might spawn with their enemies upon death. That's fine. Okay. That's good for this floor. That was close. We found a secret room here as well. Nice. A good start. We need more range. These uh, these orbits aren't making it all the way around. We do get some damage, a longevity, generosity even, sorry. Which is going to give us... So on 3 to 5 pickups, that could be so good. Yep, that's very good early on. Very nice. And then we also have this as well. Good stuff. Hey, we get a mini chest. That's nice. Oh, this is a good start. This is a really good start. Okay. 
You are annoying me, but it's fine. I think I did hear a secret room back there, but I'm not actually sure. Let me check it. Oh, no, I did. I did. I thought I did. This is going well. This run is a lot, lot better than the previous. I'll tell you that for sure. Can't believe we got two deaths in one episode and we're still going there. Perseverance, I guess. That's all we can call it. Right, another heart. Good, good. Back up to four. Reduce damage by a lot, but ink... That's kind of good. Increase the size and damage of orbitals. The de the damage of your bullets increases the longer they exist. Okay, that does sound better, actually. Get a few upgrades on that bad boy, and I think it'll be quite pertinent. I did spend a lot of health on that, I realize, and the other thing could have been quite good. Could have increased our health by a lot over a long period of time, but this is more immediate. Fire rate and speed is fine by me. Celestial weapon early as well. I like the sound of that. Okay, good. We're getting enough souls to make it work anyways. And we get ourselves... This is going to give us HP plus one, so that's not too bad. And it's not its not a bad Celestial Weapon by any means. It's just not amazing. Okay, we have our Elite here. He's going to do some things. That was just a bad hit in general. This is a really, really hard Elite. I might get hit a few times on him. But we got Demonic Wings out of it, which is kind of insane. That's fine by me. But now we have flight. Which is really, really good with our orbit gun, actually. Because now we can actually see the full orbit without it going underground so much. I like that quite a lot. Shop time. We've got full health going into this. We might be able to buy a few things here. We got... Um, land near critical will burn them. Um, while not holding down the fire button, your range increases immensely. I will try that out. I, do, I realize I have to take a curse for that, but that's fine. Um, rooms are filled with darkness. It's annoying, but I'm not destroying a relic. Nice. By the way, how much is this increasing our damage by? Okay, it doesn't actually say. Hopefully I'll be able to remove this, da uh, this curse soon. We'll see how Demon Wings affects this fight as well. okay damage here. I don't want really to get too complacent with the flight though. Like, it doesn't make me invincible by any means. In fact, flight could be detrimental to me if I don't stand in the right places. Okay, that, that was good. That didn't hit. There you go. That, that was that was very good. Okay. Got Memento. Good to go. We'll see what we want to upgrade here. I don't actually know. No! No, I tried to fly up and it went through the door. No hive for us. I tried to shoot the hive and I went to fly up to, and it entered the door. Big sad. Anything we want to get rid of first? 
Increase fire rate. Uh, your bullets only start moving once you let go of the shooting button. Um, to open locked gates with a chance to get cursed if you don't have a key. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Fire rate. Effective damage boost. That's, that's great. Go both of those. Both of those. There you go. I think I'm pretty, pretty happy with those. So we're on this floor again here. Wasn't what I was expecting. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Ow. That was a really bad hit by me there. Them shots get big. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can heal while flying now. That must have been a bug before that I couldn't. Yeah, they get they get quite big. Whoa! That guy let out way more things on death than I thought he would. He's kind of crazy. Hey, 10% damage up as well. Beautiful. Increase. Okay. Um, more range. Let's just go with even more range. Why not? Traps me more damage. Most of the time, traps aren't going to hit us because we're flying anyway, so who cares? Okay, yeah, this is kind of crazy. Uh, I am going to try and get a better Celestial weapon, because honestly, this one's very terrible with flight. Yes, I like this one a lot more. And that gave us HP too. Love it. And we can spam it a bit as well, which is always nice. Nice, we got a shop here. We'll try it out. This is a crazy build we got going on already. Screw. We'll take the key at least, definitely. The screw I don't really need though. Yeah, I'm gonna say now we can get into our chest room as well here. Oh god, that guy was like a bullet. That's okay though, we've got shields to protect us. I'm pretty happy with shields. Oh, God damn it. I always hold up to, uh, this is bad. I always go up to, to, uh, open things and now going up flies me up. So it doesn't really work anymore. Okay. A little bit of an unlucky, uh, hit there, but we did get a nice little, nice little fella by our side that's going to shoot at things for us. Ooh, I would love to have a key right now because cleansing Claire's of Darkness would be super, super nice. Damn you, game. <laughs> I was really hoping we could cleanse Care to Darkness here. I suppose we do have the Talismans unlocked now, so I don't know how common they are, but... What the hell fired at me, then? I don't know how common they are, but we'll hope we can find some of them. The Bio Cell. Interesting. Okay, so we're all out of their uh, shields now. Let's be careful. I need to use my, uh, my Celestial weapon a bit more often. I'm not really using them right now. And they are really, really strong. Good. There's the key. Just a room too late, but oh well. Tis what it is. Should have a bit of better time with this guy this time around. I should her. Okay, I don't know how flight's going to impact us here, but I'm a little apprehensive. I'll admit. Just mean getting out the way is a little easy. I just think being in the air is going to, yep, yeah, cause me problems. And it did. Got hit right before the end of the fight. That always seems to be the case with this with this guy whenever I don't flawless him. I do flawless him most of the time. Whenever I don't, it's because, like, I get hit right before the end of the fight. And there's another key for us as well. I probably won't upgrade anything here just because... The, the only thing I, I would like to upgrade maybe is the range.
Do I have to cost a full heart? No, thank you. I thought it was going to be half a heart. Okay, I'll just bounce. I'm not paying a full heart for that. Okay, back to the snow floor. We are here once again. Beautiful. Honestly, the flight is insane on this game. Makes the room so much easier. I never have to dodge. It's great. Back up to four hearts. So it's funny that like I've only just got back up to my starting HP. Playing it risky in this game often leads to that though. But then when would you not want to play it risky? Why would you ever not want to? Playing it risky is the most fun thing you can do on this game. It's like the whole reason this game exists. Right, um, increase damage of your bullets by a lot, but damage decreases the longer your bullet exists. How on earth do them two play together? The more types of orbits, okay, no, it doesn't matter. I don't know how they would play together, but I can imagine it's not well, so maybe there's some secret synergy between the two because they're like an anti-synergy, or maybe it is just an anti-synergy. Sometimes there's like special interactions between items that shouldn't work together, but other times there just isn't, so. <laughs> Ooh, get a rare here, nice. Chance to crit, nice. That might be something we can go for an upgrade on, actually. Ow, bad hit. I like the fact that we can fly through the platform just as easily, too. It helps me a lot. Not finding many secret rooms here, though, but I'm kind of okay with that. I've accepted it. It is what it is. Did I get hit there? I did! What? Oh my god, can I get hit more, please? I'm getting hit so much right now. Oh, Lord. I, I, it's this darkness. I keep missing it when it spawns the enemy on me. Definitely my own fault, but I'm going to blame the darkness. 100% blame the darkness. Okay. This shouldn't be too hard. Defeat all enemies, yeah, especially when it's literally free. Uh, like, literally as long as I don't die in this room, I can't lose. Okay, nice. There you go. Extra damage. Beautiful. We've been kind of needing that. I mean, we haven't, but I'll say that we have. Like, look at the little... little be the little flying fella. Snuck out on me. Hey, a shield burst. Nice. I think I did hear a secret room prop there. No, maybe not. That uh, can't be a secret room anyway. There's a shop right here. What am I about? I don't know how that works. We'll check the shop out though. we we'll get some good stuff. Get an extra shield at the start of each area. That sounds super useful. I'll take that. We'll grab a key as well. Means we can trade our HP away a bit more reliably. Now I like trading my HP away. Beautiful. Grab that. On to our boss. This boss is one where flying isn't great. Chaos chest, what do you hold for me? Can't remember what that does. Increase fire rate. Um, and accuracy. That's a pretty big fire rate increase. I'm going to take that. Yeah, I like that fire rate increase. The damage down may seem bad, but I think a 25% damage uh, fire rate upgrade is going to outweigh it. I my Celestial Weapon so quickly here as well.
That worked out a treat. Nice. Okay. Flight was actually pretty good on that guy. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was. But I like it. Get the memento there as well. Okay, we can just heal here. We're probably going to trade a bit of HP away here, considering we're going to be getting armor at the start of the next floor. I don't know what on. Maybe the item we just picked up, actually, that's going to give us more and more fire rate. I don't know how much it's going to lower our damage by each upgrade, though. I will say I'm definitely going to um, get rid of you, because you're just, like, barely noticeable right now. I'm sorry. The accuracy just doesn't matter, but I'll take that. I'll take that. And I'll take that. Why not? There you go. Good fire rate. I have lowered my damage a little bit here now, but it's still a 5% plus. Oh, I sat on this bench by accident. Whoopsie. Yeah, our fire is crazy now. That was just dumb. That was just silly of me. What the hell? The curse one fired like five burns. Oh my god! The curse ones are firing like oh my lord! I'm getting hit so much right now. I was like, what's happening? I think that guy was just reviving them constantly. I lost so many shields there. I need to remember I can still dash. Just because I can fly doesn't mean I shouldn't dash. I kind of That's kind of what I do. I lean too much into the flying. Increased rate of fire when at full HP. Immunity to contact damage while mid-air. Hmm. That seems... Insanely good, right? Is it just me or is that like crazy good? I gotta test this. Oh yeah, that's, that's really good. We can now just, like, sit inside of enemies. I like that a lot. I did want the fire rate while at full HP. That would have been really good. I realize my health is also very dire right now. Souls will take some of your soul when vanishing. Oh, we don't really need to dash that often, so that's cool. Oh, and now being able to fly through enemies and, and having a poison trail. Those two go together quite nicely. Okay, I like this. This is a setup I can get behind. Put a health in a, 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 a bit of a dire spot early, but... It's okay. We don't need to go to the shop here. We could buy some stuff there with the health we've got, but I'd rather just build my health back up to a more normal level as quick as possible. And we are getting, like, a soul heal every room too right now. you another heal onto our boss now is depression gonna be really easy with no contact damage maybe he will be wait i've got to test something ah 
like, no, okay. I was thinking, can I... Oh, I got hit anyways, doesn't matter. I was thinking, can I just sit inside him and not get hit? Not really. Sadly, not quite. Wow, okay, that was good. <laughs> Didn't get his mentor, but that was pretty good. Okay, keep it going. Don't know if there's anything we want to upgrade here. Maybe the poison cloud? But it, I think that only increases duration. It doesn't increase damage at all, so maybe not. I'll see, I'll see. Yeah, that's just duration. Yeah, let's just leave everything for now. I think we're pretty happy. Ticky top tower. Good, good. You respond, that's fine. Hey, an extra shield there. That's super good on this floor. I love how massive our shots get when there's no enemies around. If we got piercing, the, this would be crazy. Like, absolutely crazy. I'm kind of hoping we get piercing now. I know it's a little, little late in the run to hope for it, but... What the hell's this? We got this person, which is new, I think, and we've got a locked door to the well, or we can go straight through the door because I was flying and press W. That's the most annoying feature in the world. Why? No. I hate you. Like, on a normal run, I love that W lets you enter things. It's so much nicer, but on this run, I hate, I hate it so much. hate it so much. I missed out on a new NPC. I don't even know who that guy was. Could have been super cool. Increase damage and bullets are dragged down by gravity. Small chance for another enemy to die. That's pretty good. Prism. I think prism works, right? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, prism works. Prism works. Doesn't work on every shot, but it works. In fact, if I aim directly at it, I think it works on every shot. Shouldn't have gotten hit there. Chest room. I'm gonna risk it. I really want. I really want piercing. <laughs> I think we can get it. Wait, what? How does this even work? My bullets already orbit around me. Oh, this is this is confusing. I think they like have multiple rings of orbit now. That's confusing, but beautiful. Gives you one bait used for fishing. Wow, like you, I thought you'd get bait way more often. I got one bait in a whole run so far. That's kind of crazy. I thought you'd get like four or five per run. Maybe you get more from the bosses or something. I don't know. Probably ain't going to get back to full HP by the boss, but... I think we'll be okay. Okay, nice. I never considered getting Looney Earring, like Moon Earring, whatever it's called, on an orbit gun run. 
But it does seem to affect it, surprisingly. I thought maybe it'd just do nothing. Step in here. Grab our nerd. Thank you, thank you. Keep on moving. This is, the damage on this is pretty high. Okay, do you know, we got closer to full health than I thought we would. Right, hello sir. We have some big shots for you. To an Urbia. Again, when Urvia didn't expect it. Hey, flawless that first phase. That's pretty good going. I don't. I won't say the same about the second phase, but it'd be nice if we could. This guy's saw blade throwing uh, is always a bit of a difficulty to me, anyways. So. Don't. You're going to throw your saw blades again. I know it. Oh, God. Apparently I have 51 damage there. Wait, do the, do the little spears that I'm throwing also increase in damage the longer they're in the air? If that's the case, that's kind of crazy. Oh, wait. I don't think we can be hit by those beams. And those beams count as contact damage. We got him. Fl full flawless. Very nice indeed. Wasn't expecting it, but full flawless. Um. There you go. Get the memento as well. Beautiful. Can we continue forward one moment? All right, let's continue on. I think we can do it this run. I think, I think we've got a good shot at it. I wasn't expecting to get this far with this run, but... It kind of scaled crazy. It got really nuts. And we've got close to full HP as well here. Problem is, some of these enemies, I do not know what they do. Which gives me fear. Well, I'll pretend that fear is not is non-existent and just be happy. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's two hits already. Dum dum dum. It's okay though, we're in a challenge room here. And it looks to be an easy one too. Oh god. Oh, dude, I did not know that enemy existed. Laser beam coming my way. Oh, God, I'm just not ready for some of these enemies. Like, I've not seen some of these guys, and, like, they're all cursed as well. Holy hell. Don't want to waste my soul if possible. Don't need to go into the secret room here. Holy hell. Health is looking good. I think that's a secret room just there as well. Yeah, and it's nice. I could hear the uh, the hits from my circular shots there. Do you know what? I'll give you like one player, maybe two players, maybe three players. Okay, 
You screwed me. I trusted you and you screwed me. There's a secret room there, nice. It's a big boss, man. You are, you are quite easy. Good, good. In we go. A key that we don't need. Thank you. So got quite a few rooms to go here. Four, four rooms remaining. It's enough to get another full HP, I think. If I'm lucky and don't get hit much. So there you go. Now we only need three more heals. And we're getting like one to two a room depending on the enemies. And we got some more damage as well. Happy with some more damage. And we get we get a guaranteed one heal or two heals at least at the end, don't we? So I think we're good to go here. I think we're good to go. One moment. All right, let's continue onwards. But yeah, this is looking pretty good. This is looking pretty good. We're definitely going to get another health, another heart container out of this, I think. We might, we might lose a shield here and there, but I hope not. These little squiggly bouncy boys, I don't know what they're doing. We do have a, um, a chest in here, which I kind of forgot about, I'll be honest. But I'll, I'll crack it open. I'll see what, we get, what we've got in here. Could could be really good for the run. <laughs> in the final hour. In the final hour, he gets it. Beautiful. Was not expecting that, but that is that is going to be quite sp quite saucy for this last boss. What up, mother? Oh god, that was a nice hit. You're going down quite quickly, my lady. You're getting a bit wrecked. Ooh, ooh, bit of a dash. Bit of a dash there do we have. I think we I think this the piercing does do reduce damage every time it hits her, but it's still damage. Ooh, is this a new attack? I don't think I've seen that one before. Got hit again. Really, really could do to not get hit any more times on this fight. Okay. Third phase, let's go. This is only a half HP phase as well, so it's not so bad. One problem is I can't really see, but... That's, that's fine. <laughs> that's mostly okay. Yes, there you go. I can't believe we got piercing right at the end there. You do your thing, angry mother. You do your thing. And we'll do our thing too. I don't know with flight where the best place to sit during this fight will will be. But I think piercing should make this a reasonably quick fight nonetheless. We got hit straight away there. And again, I think we just face tank this whole fight, you know. Maybe I'll just sit up here. I think sitting up here works quite well. Shots are a lot easier to dodge. Some of them she just fire directly at us, which makes it a little harder, but the hands and stuff, they stay out of the way of them. Whoa, what is this? Oh, uh, we've done this. I've seen this one before. I was just wasn't ready. But it's okay. Regret, you are dead. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are dead. Beautiful. Another shard gained. An unexpected victory, this run. An unexpected victory. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was definitely a fun one. A nice return back to the game, at least for me. And do let me know how you're liking this series still. Bounty tickets have been unlocked. The Lumen Shard. I'm going to give her a nice little pop to the face. There you go. Nice amount of soul coins there. <laughs> they got like a poison cloud just chilling there. It's kind of funny because that means that, that our player is actually there. Let's we'll skip that. Rather than being on the edge like he, like he looks to be. Away he goes. That is another successful run though. And another shard gain. Apparently shard 10 is really where things start to hit the fan. So I'm kind of excited to see what happens there. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.